So you just opened your semen analysis report. Maybe it says low motility. Maybe it says poor morphology or low count. Or maybe you just haven't tested yet. But if you're curious, is there something that you can do at home to boost your sperm quality? Good news, yes there is. Because we are not here to talk about expensive supplements or overnight hacks. Today I want to show you 5 simple effective things that you can do at home to support better sperm health. Whether you're planning a family or just want to take charge of your reproductive health, this video is made for you. Let's start with something simple but often overlooked. How often should you ejaculate? See your body is like a non-stop factory, constantly producing sperm in the background. If you release too often, your system doesn't have enough time to build up a strong batch. But on the contrary, if you wait for too long, say maybe a week or more, these older sperms start to lose their strength. It's kind of like water sitting in a tank. If you empty it too frequently, there's barely anything left. But if you leave it too long, it starts to stagnate. So stick to a rhythm, ejaculate once in every 2-3 to three days. That's when the sperm count, the motility and the freshness are usually at their best. It gives your body time to build a stronger batch without letting the older sperm sit around for too long and lose their edge. And if you're actively trying to conceive or preparing for a semen test, this simple change can really improve your results. But frequency isn't really everything. Sperms are living cells, they need the right fuel. Think of them like tiny swimmers who are training for the Olympics. Olympics. They need strength, speed and stamina. So let's step into your kitchen. Eat sperm boosting foods that are rich in antioxidants. Start your morning with soaked almonds and walnuts that are great for omega 3s and vitamin E. Add citrus fruits like alma, oranges or goa for vitamin C boost. Mix in green vegetables, pulses, seeds and paneer to get your zinc and COQ10. These aren't really fancy fertility superfoods. They are simple, local, accessible ingredients that genuinely help sperm function better. The more colorful and clean your plate is, the stronger swimmers are going to be. Now let's zoom out. It's not just about what you eat but what environment your sperms are living in. Your testicles are designed to stay cooler than the rest of your body by about 2 to 3 degrees. That's why they hang outside your body. But what do we do? We wear tight jeans, sit for long hours and laptops on our lap and lounge in hot tubs. All this heat, it really messes with your sperm factory. So keep your testicles cool, avoid long laptop sessions on your lap, switch to loose cotton boxes and don't overuse heated seats or hot baths. Now I had a patient who drove for around 10 hours a day on a bike. His sperm count was pretty low. After a consult, he ditched the heater, took walking breaks and wore breathable underwear. Three months later, his sperm levels are back to normal with just antioxidant supplementation. That's how fast your body can bounce back with these small changes. Next comes a factor we rarely talk about. I am of course telling you about stress. Whether it's work deadlines, finances, relationship issues or the pressures of fertility itself, your mind may be carrying that weight but your sperm might feel it too. Chronic stress increases cortisol which of course again lowers your testosterone. It also disrupts your sleep and slows your sperm production. Sleep well, walk daily, take 10 minutes to breathe, stretch and to disconnect. These small daily habits of calm are far more powerful for boosting fertility than just capsules themselves. Especially in men dealing with high stress, these routines really matter. And also some research suggests that ashwagandha may help improve testosterone and sperm quality. But it always works best when it's part of a bigger lifestyle shift not just a shortcut. And finally, let's talk about what you might need to definitely stop. Because even the best foods, best sleep and best timing won't help if you are still doing the things that harm your sperm the most. Please quit smoking, alcohol, steroids and recreational drugs. These just don't lower your sperm count. They also damage the DNA inside your sperm. This might affect fertilization, embryo development and also increases the risk of having a miscarriage. But here's the good news. Like I told you earlier, your body regenerates sperm every 64 to 74 days. Which means even if your habits haven't been great so far, you get a fresh start every 3 months. 
Quit the harmful stuff today and your next batch of sperm could be the healthiest you ever made. Now let's recap, ejaculate every 2-3 to three days, eat antioxidant rich foods, keep your testicles cool, manage stress with lifestyle and also quit the sperm damaging habits. Sperm health isn't about expensive pills or viral hacks. It's all about the small consistent things that you do every single day. Now if you're trying to conceive or even thinking about your long term reproductive health, start now. Stick with these changes for at least 3 months because that's how long it takes to build a healthier batch of sperm. And trust me, your future self will thank you for it. If this video really helped you, give it a like, subscribe and also share it with someone who's on the same path. If you got any questions or personal experiences, please drop them in the comments down below. I'm Dr. Surakshit Bhatina and I'll see you in the next video.